at home, the topic of gun safety was again top of mind at our state capitol. Former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, who was shot at an event in 2011 in Arizona, came to St. Paul today to lend her voice. John Croman was there, and he joins us now from St. Paul. Hey, John. Hey, Jana, you know, Gabby Giffords took that tragedy that nearly claimed her life and did end her political career and turned that into a movement. And here at the Capitol today, she found herself among friends because both Governor Walls and Attorney General Ellison were members of her freshman class in Congress back in 2007. Now, you may recall that she was doing what they call a Congress in Your Corner event at a Safeway in Tucson back in 2011 when a gunman shot her in the head at point blank range along with 17 other people and killed six of them. Because of that devastating brain injury, Gabby Giffords moves pretty slowly and the aphasia she suffers still prevents her from taking part in a regular news you know, question and answer session. She memorizes what she plans to say and then delivers it with passion, hoping to move the needle on the gun debate around the country and here in Minnesota. I chose to make a new start, to move ahead, to not look back. I'm relearning so many things, how to walk, how to talk, and I'm fighting to make the country safer. Her nonprofit organization, simply known as Giffords, is trying to work for gun control and gun reform across the country and here in Minnesota. In this state, uh, there are two bills that have a reasonable chance of getting passed this year. As you've heard us talk about it, it's the Universal Background Checks Bill and the Red Flags Extreme Risk Protection Order Bill. And we've had gun control opponents here at the Capitol all session, as they have for many years, saying that those bills won't change anything when it comes to gun violence. But today we heard the governor and the, the lead authors of those bills say they are determined to get those passed this year. Back to you, Jana. Why was the former congresswoman in Minnesota today? What, what marks today is the day she visits? Anything special, John? No, she had planned this uh, even before the Nashville uh, situation and uh, before the Nashville tragedy. This was already planned. They knew they wanted to visit Minnesota sometime this session because of the Democratic trifecta. There was a chance that these bills that have been blocked by Republicans for years might actually get through. So that's why she wanted to come to Minnesota. Okay, thanks so much, John.